Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today we'll be talking about all the mistakes that if you commit during your admissions can totally ruin the next four years of your college life. By the way, before I begin, I gotta tell you that it is pretty cold out here in Mumbai, especially in the morning. And if you're a Mumbaiker, you know that you are never prepared for it. So now you know why I'm wearing this 90s style sweater. Okay, let's get right into the topic. Now that the entire admission process has become online, every year there are thousands of students who make silly mistakes in their admission form or even in their choice filling process due to which they lose their seats in their preferred colleges. And the sad part about it is that they actually do everything correctly. They score very good marks. They get the details of all the colleges' cutoffs, see which colleges they might get into according to previous year's cutoffs, and just when they think nothing could go wrong, they make that one silly mistake. The admission process is as important, if not more, than your exams itself. The reason why I'm saying this is because I've seen my own friends who never would have made such mistakes still lose out on some key points during the admission process that cause them their dream college. This video is very important for students taking admissions. So watch this video till the end because I don't want you all to lose out on any of these points. The main motivation behind making this video was due to a news article that I recently read. Yes, I'm talking about Siddhan Batra's case. The boy who managed to bag AIR 270, who was getting a seat in the prestigious IIT Bombay's electrical branch, clicked on that one link and unfortunately lost his seat with it. Getting an All India rank of 270 in J Advance is not a small thing. I can only imagine how much effort he would have put in for achieving it. He had filled everything properly in the counselling process. He even got IIT Bombay's electrical branch but unfortunately, he clicked on one wrong link. There's this option to freeze your seat. Basically what it means is you want to take the seat you've already gotten. And he correctly froze his preferred seat as well. But then after freezing your seat, you get an option to withdraw from the admission process. Now thinking that his seat is frozen and he has already secured it, he wanted to get out of the admission process altogether. He went ahead and clicked on the withdraw link. And this is where it all went wrong. The withdraw link is to withdraw from the admission process and completely drop your seat even if it has been frozen. He was unaware of this fact and even while writing the reason for the withdrawal, he wrote that he has already secured his preferred seat at IIT Bombay and hence does not want to participate further in the admission process. But in fact, that link was to get out of the seat allocation process completely and for those who didn't want any seats. He realized his mistake only after seeing that his name was not included in the IIT Bombay's portal of students getting admission in 2020. After this, he went ahead and appealed in the High Court. However, it got rejected there and that's why he has also appealed in the Supreme Court. I hope he gets his seat and things work out smoothly for him. But the main reason for me to share this story with you all is because I want you to understand that this can happen with any of us. Do not take the admission process lightly just because you are getting your preferred college. Before clicking anything, make sure you read each and every line and understand its meaning. If you are confused, then take help from someone. Even if it's a small thing like how many colleges should I fill in my list, make sure that you talk to your friends, fill the form together so that you don't commit any mistakes. Other than that, let's talk about some basic things that you need to keep in mind. The first thing is to check the official site regularly during the admission process. If you're participating in the cap rounds, then check this site regularly. This is the official site for MHTCET's admission process. Also, a very important thing is to join the Telegram group. I will be posting any new updates that I see, but make sure that you're doing your part as well. Also, there are information brochures available whenever you take part in any admission process. These information brochures can be found on the official website, so make sure that you read them completely and understand its meaning. 
understand the different terms associated with it like what it means to freeze a seat what it means to withdraw from the admission process and so on by the way there is also an information brochure for mhtct that solves all of your doubts i've shared it in the telegram group student samaj so make sure that you are thorough with it so this is the information brochure for mhtct now this information brochure is for the academic year 2020 to 2021 uh, where will you find this information brochure you can find it on the student samaj group on uh, telegram i'll be linking it down in the description box below so you can check it out as well uh, apart from that let's go over the index of this information brochure so that you know what all is included in this now i can promise you that it will solve almost all of your doubts related to the admission process of mhtct even after that if you have any doubts you can always message me on instagram uh, i will try to reply to all of you guys so let's go over the index right now uh, as we can see, it talks about the candidature type. Uh, MHTCT is especially known for having a lot of categories for its students. You have the Maharashtra candidature students, you have the All India candidature students, minority quota seats, institute level seats. So all of those things make it quite a complex process, especially for MHTCT. So make sure you go over these things uh, properly and also go over the eligibility criteria for the cap rounds. Uh, apart from that, we have the allotment of seats by cap round 1, 2 and 3. So it talks about all of those things. We have the documents as well. So documents attached with the application form for cap round. So make sure that you go over all of these things. Do not miss any single point. Um, it will take hardly 15 minutes, but it is very important that you do go over this PDF. So that's it for the video and if you like this video then do press the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel, it really helps me grow a lot.